What's good, Henry? I'm actually, I'm doing this video for you, but I'm doing it for anybody else that's unsure of how to set your mappings up to use uh, the finger in order to do your edits within your DAW. I know in your case, you were using FL Studio and you were using uh, machine in MIDI mode as a uh, controller to send your MIDI signals. I'll use MIDI as a controller and Bitwig, but the same principles will still apply in uh, FL Studio. So check it out. Oh, also, forgive me because I can't have the volume up loud because my wife is knocked out and I ain't trying to get in trouble. So here we go. All right. So right now, as you can see, I got a machine in MIDI mode. And if you want to change modes, you know, I hold shift and then hit this up here. I can't do it right now because I only have one hand and it's holding the phone that I'm shooting this video with. So within Bitwig Studio, this on this channel right here, channel one, I got the loop, which is what you see going right here. So I'll play it. All right. On channel two, I have reactor six and I have the finger loaded and that's why I put it on the screen. On channel three, I have machine loaded in MIDI mode. All right, so what I'll do right here is I will change the output. This is the audio, but I'll change it to the MIDI to reactor six. So watch as I tap the buttons on machine. You see the things moving around. The other thing I'm going to do is on channel one, which contains the loop. Instead of having the audio go to master, I am going to send that to reactor six. So now when I play it, Let me pick another preset. Right now I have it on uh, subtractive as a preset. So I'm going to pick something that makes it more obvious. Okay, we'll do the loop device. So I'll pick loop device. I'm going to hit the loop to play. And I'm just going to randomly tap pads on machine. And I'll show you one more feature in a second. So I have track three, the one with machine on it, arm to record. I'm actually going to record the edits that I do right now. So you see that bottom green line? That's what I just did. I'm gonna take it off of record, play it back, and you'll hear everything I just did. And then the other dope thing is, one, you can have up to six effects going at once. And as you can see here in the piano roll, this is what I just did at random. You can pre-plan this. You can change the velocity. You can combine them. You can go in with it, but you just got to map it correctly. So you load reactor with, a, with the finger on one channel. On another channel, you set up your MIDI 
and you send the MIDI to this channel with Reactor. And here is the audio that I have running through it. And I send that to Reactor. And together, you get what I just did. Um, and the more you mess with it, you'll start getting mad creative with it. You'll start chopping beats. You'll start editing loops. I mean, you'll start editing like vocals. It's, it's mad dope the more you mess with it. That's it, bro. Oh, yeah. One other thing. It's actually, if you have Machine Jam, or if you have a MIDI controller, it's a keyboard. It's better to do it with that than actually on machine because with machine, you only have 16 pads at a, at a time at your disposal. With the jam, I can't flip it around while I'm doing it, but with the jam, you got 64 pads. And with a controller, you got the length of your keyboard. So you have a lot more effects at your disposal right in your face. Um, so other than that, Yo, do your thing. I get up.